for stories like that? How much time you got? <laughs> yeah, I have a few. Let me see. A couple years back, before I met Clutch, me and a couple friends found a young kid on the north side of the Charles. He wasn't that young, probably around 18 or so. Anyway, after hanging out with him for a while, it started to get dark, so I built a fire. I kid you not. As soon as I lit the first match, the kid screams, What are you doing? And knocks the match out of my hand. He knocked the match out of your hand? Why did he do that? Shh! I'm telling a story. So, yeah, he knocks the match out of my hand. I was so surprised that I swung and broke his nose. He said he was sorry. And get this. He said he was afraid of fire. <laughs> oh, man. He was afraid of fire? I just told you he was afraid of fire. You keep interrupting me, it's irritating. As soon as he told me that, I thought of something. I quickly apologized for hitting him and told him it's nothing to be ashamed of. That night, me and the others got this kid so drunk so fast, he passed out within an hour. We then dragged him to the banks of the Charles. We also dragged six or seven mattresses and tied them in a circle with one in the middle. Mattresses? What did you need the mattresses for? Really? Did you seriously just ask me that question? It's a goddamn story. All you have to do is listen. So yeah, we tied all these mattresses together, and then we placed one mattress in the middle and put the kid on it. We doused all the mattresses with gas, except his, and then lit them on fire and pushed them down into the water. We followed the burning mattresses down the river, laughing our asses off waiting for the kid to wake up after five minutes we realized the kid wasn't going to wake up so we all started throwing rocks at him after a couple of hits the kid's awake at this point the flames were huge <laughs> imagine what it must have been like for him waking up not knowing where he was and all he sees is fire the kid tries to stand up but can't get his footing on the soggy mattress at this point I'm laughing so hard I fall down. That is crazy. I bet he overcame his fear of fire. Huh? Trial by fire? Nah, he never did. Turns out the kid couldn't swim. Anyway, that's that. Didn't see that coming. This isn't anything like training. I'm shooting at plywood. How's that supposed to get me ready for this hell? Think you can hide? Oh, man, come back! I was having... What the? Scared, huh? Should be. bullets at some point. Just had to play hero, huh? Keep your eyes open. I think that <coughs> asshole's using a stump. <laughs> Relaxer, I'm ready to fucking relax. Got it? I got it. I got it. Jesus. Why are you always in such a bad mood? You're still alive, ain't you? 
You should be thanking me instead of bitching all the time. Now shut up and get back to your patrol. Don't get your panties in a twist. I'm going. Turn up! You're dead! No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Only a fucking coward hides. you. Show your face. Come on, I dare you. 